We offer you condolences on the loss of your wife and mother. That smile would light up a room. Her personality, warm, loving, capable of lifting your spirits, whether you were in her presence for a moment or for hours. She was a tireless worker. Uh, she always had an infectious laugh and smile. Um, and she was a woman of profound faith. Basie Apostle was more than just the executive assistant to the Vicar for Communications, Monsignor Kieran Harrington, a respected professional, always willing to lend a hand, often going out of her way to help a colleague. She was at the same time a devoted wife, a mother, and a friend. I used to come to her office and, and embrace her because she, she was a very, very, very tender and kind um, person. When she found something funny, she shared with me and we laughed so much, so much. So it's like, to me, Basie never gonna die. Basie served our diocese for over 43 years. Her career began in 1975, quite fittingly, at Catholic Charities. It did not take long for her to rise through the ranks and capture the attention of Bishop Joseph Sullivan. The highly respected prelate needed someone who matched his devotion to working for the poor on a national level. He found that and more in Basie. After Bishop Sullivan's untimely passing, Basie went on to NetTV and the DeSales media family. She wanted to keep her in the diocesan family. So um, Monsignor Kieran Harrington reached out to her and said, would you like to continue working for the diocese? Gave her a job with DeSales and, uh, and she was part of our family ever since then. And we as her family loved everything about her. One of the things that Basie loved to do on her day off was attend to her garden. And, you know, and the garden is like a metaphor for spiritual life. Uh, she was just very deliberative and attentive to her garden, uh, her garden at home, but also her garden here at DeSales and in our diocese. One of the last interviews with Basie on Currents News reminded us of the kind, generous person she was to all. She took a moment from organizing relief efforts in the days after Typhoon Yolanda devastated her homeland, the Philippines, in 2013. Said they need planes to get there or whatever uh, mode of transportation to get the aid to the affected areas. That is the big kind of like challenge that they're facing right now. There will be a void in our offices, a missing piece to our family we won't soon forget. It, it is hard. It is hard. It's going to be very, very, very hard without Basie in this office with me. We love you, Basie, and um, thank you for everything you did for our church. Thank you for your service. Thank you for being that such kind person. We will see you <laughs> then in heaven. God bless, Basie.